guys, so you know how you can't find that many black teenagers on YouTube who just don't do pranks and just sit down and talk about what we need to talk about? Well, today we're going to talk about some of those topics. Oh yeah, and my cat queen is joining us, so she's saying hi. So today we're going to go over this topic. Questions you want to ask your parents, but you're afraid to ask them. One of those questions for me is, why do we have to do chores other than clean our rooms and take care of our pets? Well, I think parents make us do this because they do the cooking, the cleaning. They have to go to work. They have to pay the bills. They, have, they do practically a lot of things for us. So they make us do chores as in a way to give them a little break from having to do those things every single day. I mean, I still don't want to do them, but sometimes it makes our parents so happy when we just do them without them asking and they and don't have to take care of it anymore for the rest of that day. The next question for me is, why do they, why did they have us when they say they don't want us? I mean, my parents do want me, but this is for some kids who think their parents don't want them. Like, why would you go through all the trouble to creating us and bringing us into this big, flashy new world if you didn't want us because I mean sometimes parents when you're just little babies and I'm not trying to offend anyone and if I do I'm sorry when we're little babies our parents might not be ready might not be ready to be parents so instead of trying to take the responsibility and also try to work through being scared, they would leave us. But luckily there are some people in this world who might not be able to have babies, but they would still, but some of them might still go to an orphanage and adopt some baby. And that would be perfect. And if people kept doing that around the world, there would probably be no children and probably maybe no orphans. The next question is, why do we get punishments? I mean, sure, sometimes we make itty bitty tiny mistakes that we could have not done by accident. Or some we could have not done because our friends told us to. But I mean, why would we get punished if we told the parents the whole entire story that they still punish us? I mean, who knew if you accidentally broke your dad's or mom's favorite coffee mug, they'd punish you, like ground you for a week, let you have no TV, electronics. I'd even let you stop watching YouTube. I think that people shouldn't punish other people. I mean, how would they like to feel if they had to be punished again? What could they feel like when they had to go through the same punishment as we did? Here's another question for kids who just like to browse YouTube. Like it's the ultimate gaming app. Why can't we just watch anything we want to watch on YouTube? Well, one of the reasons that our parents might not want us to watch YouTube all the time is because some YouTube could like have bad words. And our parents don't want us to develop that. Because if we start to develop to develop it at a very young age, then we will most likely start to say it once we get older. One more question. This is the last question. 
is why do we have to clean up after our animals i mean sure some of us might have asked for them some of us might have begged for them but we didn't beg and ask to clean up their poop so why can't they do it instead of us i mean sure when you have cats they do carry up the pounds of litter and when they're a dog they do pay for the bags and the scooper but i mean if they paid for it why aren't they going to use it okay i know i said the last question was going to be the final one but i don't really have this big humongous question on my mind and it might not be for all people but why do we have to be nice to our younger or older siblings because i mean Younger ones get attention. Parents love. They can bribe. Younger ones can bribe their parents into doing whatever they want. While older ones get like, I've got money. I can drive. I'm not going to take you anywhere. And then it's us. People in the middle. Who have to be nice and respect their younger sibling and also say oh no it's my fault that i'm not getting a ride i should have done your homework for older siblings i'm just mad okay guys that was all for my tween questions today and here are actually two animal facts today did you know that brown bears and grizzly bears are the exact same thing. But here in America, we just call them grizzlies. And here's the second fact. Did you know that polar bear, <laughs> polar bears can have babies with grizzly bears? They're so cute. They're brown and white and they're adorable. Okay, guys, time for the shout out of the day. Today's shout out is going to Chelsea, my friend in New York. She owns a charity called Chelsea's Charity. And she packs kits, like art kits, for kids who can't afford it. So thank you, Chelsea, for all the amazing work you've done. Well, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. I'll see you next time. Look out for part three.